Hello and welcome to the latest Rival Stars Horse Racing Developer Update video. In this episode, we're so excited to introduce you to one of the most anticipated updates of the year. You have bred, trained and cared for your horses and now we're looking to take that to the next level. We will be introducing a brand new Foles update and we hope you're excited about it. Before we dive into the Foles feature, we've got a few announcements to make. A few weeks ago, we ran our first Rival Stars Horse Racing Community Challenge, where we challenged the community to breed 500,000 horses. Unfortunately, we didn't quite make the final milestone, but I hope you enjoyed the rewards that you did get, and we hope you take part again in the future. Lastly, we have a few new customization options for the next update, including an exclusive set called Festive Dream, just in time for the holiday season. How good does that look? Now let's talk about falls. You notice that we made some changes to your stable menu. You'll see a button at the bottom right and that will take you to your brand new fall stall. From here you can breed falls. You'll be able to choose whether you care for your fall or skip straight to adulthood. Caring for your fall gives you the opportunity to earn additional bonus stat points which helps turn them into better racers. To gain the extra points, you'll need to make sure your fall is well fed and cared for or you can hire a caretaker to do it for you. Higher grade horses will require more time and resources to care for them, so make sure you stock up on feed. Once they've grown up, you'll be able to reveal its adult coat and start racing. To give us an inside look of the foals design process, we have our art lead Victoria to tell us more about it. Hi, my name is Victoria and I'm art lead on Rival Stars Horse Racing. When we started looking at foals, we looked at a lot of reference and a lot of thoroughbred foals to see how they moved and how they behaved because we knew we really wanted to get that right. Once we looked at reference and studied their physiology, we started to gather what we needed to really nail how a foal looks in our game. We started to sculpt the foal, really paying attention to what makes a foal adorable and endearing and a thoroughbred foal that's going to become a champion. Once we were happy with the sculpt we made of the foal, we then made a simplified version of this to go into the game. We then animated this and worked on getting the coats and the colours of the foals perfect. One of the cutest differences between adult horses and foals is the foals' younger, fluffier coat that they have when they're first born. This is something we really wanted to put in the game, so we sculpted it in the fluff and made a different shader for the foal horse compared to the adult. We really hope you'll fall in love with your foals and come back to nurture them and raise them and grow them into champion racehorses. Well, that about wraps us up for this episode. We hope you enjoyed the new features when it releases. From all of us here at Pickpock, have a great holidays and we'll see you again next year.